What is up everybody? Tonight, we are on a mission to go catch a snakehead. Now, this is my fourth trip, four times. Well, I had three prior to this, which were mega failures. In fact, uh, very frustrating to be honest with you, but we're not giving up. Um, we're gonna take what we did wrong and hopefully change that and hopefully get on our first snake tonight. So stay tuned. So we only are gonna have probably 30 minutes of, of sunlight left tonight. Got a really late start, but um, we're gonna give it a shot. Now I am gonna be fishing a different spot. The last three outings that I went, you know, snakehead fishing, I fished the same area and I definitely established that they're there because, you know, we, we had multiple snakehead hits. In fact, uh, I could count on three hands how many I've lost in three trips so uh, it has been very frustrating I'm gonna be honest with you but um, I'm not giving up on them I know that you know we're using the right techniques we're just not uh, applying them correctly so we're gonna try and adjust what we were doing and hopefully that'll uh, result in a first fish so stay tuned we're not too far away All right, so for today's trip, <clears throat> it's being our fourth outing, uh, two by kayak, one by land. Tonight's going to be by land just for time's sake. Um, I'm learning a lot from my failures. So to be honest, to put it in simple man's terms, if you're targeting snakeheads, you can use the same baits that you would use to target, you know, largemouth bass. Uh, they don't seem picky. Now, that being said, one thing that I'm learning from all the research is that these fish, you know, hang in very shallow areas that are, you know, covered in, you know, swamp grass and, you know, just muck. So you have to have your options. So first option we have is, you know, hollow frogs that we can, you know, fish on the surface if there's too much gook. Um, we also have like a Texas style rig that we could fish, you know, zooms or any other type of soft plastic. And I haven't tried this yet, but I'm gonna try using, you know, inline spinners or some type of, uh, you know, trout lure, I guess you would call them. I think one of the issues I'm having with setting the hook with these guys is they have extremely tough mouths. And sometimes, I don't know if you've ever fished Texas style, but you really gotta set the hook. With these hollow frogs, you, you you know, you really have to set the hook and you gotta let them take it. If the water's clear enough and there's not too much algae or growth, we're gonna try and throw, you know, one of these inline spinners. Maybe that might be the ticket, I don't know. At this point, I'm willing to try anything. So stay tuned while I pack my truck up. Today, we're gonna get that, you know, first, you know, ever snake head. Um, so stay tuned for that. While I have this nice little drive, check out uh, some you know, fails from my last video attempt. Oh, first fish. Oh, he dropped it. Something just took it. That's a great sign, baby. That's a freaking great. Oh. Oh. Fish on. Fish on bait. Oh, no. Fish off. He dropped it. God damn. Okay, that's a good sign. That's a good sign, guys. Oh, he missed it. He missed it. Oh, he's trying again. He missed it twice. You know what we're going to try? Hold on. Fish on, baby. Fish on first. Oh my. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. It's happening again. There we go. There we go. There we freaking go, baby. Oh! No. Are 
Are you kidding me? All right, we have about a half mile walk according to um, Google Earth. So it's kind of a little bit of a hike where I'm going, but uh, I need the exercise, honestly, ever since they shut the gyms down. You know, I haven't had, <clears throat> I, I've definitely lost some muscle mass, that's for sure. But nevertheless, we're gonna get our walk in. When we get to the first spot, hopefully they'll be there and biting. All right, so we're at the spot. Doesn't look very uh, friendly, but we're gonna give it a shot. I'm trying the frog first. Man, my heart is racing. All right, so just tied on a, <clears throat> just a spinner. We're gonna give it a cast out towards that shopping cart that's out in the middle. We're just gonna slowly work it back, let the blade do all the work. Yeah, I'm trying to go between those shopping carts and hope something's there. Oh, that was a hit. That was a hit, baby. Ugh. I'm gonna try that again. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but it was tiny. Oop, something tried getting it and missed. I'm not reeling it very quick, to be honest with you, either. All right, got the spinner on. Switched the color up. Don't know if that makes a difference, but I figured, what the hell, let me try a different color. Oops, something just went after it, but dropped it. There we go, there we go. Oh my freaking God, dude. Oh my freaking God, dude. It's my first freaking sneak. Oh my God, that is a snakehead, baby. That's a Northern snakehead. Oh my God. This is exactly how Nicolas Cage in National Treasure must have felt like when he got that treasure after all that time. Lord, I lost so many of you guys, of your species. Oh my God. Look at that. Oh man. Oh. Yeah. Uh, did not mean to drop you, buddy. Oh my Lord. Woo! Man, it feels good. Get the first one off the back. I've literally been through hell and back for these things. Now, I'm not trying to lose a finger, so we're gonna use, whoop. Well, we're gonna drop them, I guess. Ugh. Try and open up his mouth. There we go. Get the pliers out. Oh, 
Look at that. That is unbelievable. Now that's a small snakehead, I'm not gonna lie, but the first one feels so great. Now, we have the social dilemma of <clears throat> do we keep it or do we do we keep it and kill it or do we let it go? I've never had one of these before, so we're going to throw it in the cooler and eat it. it we're not we're going to kill it, but it's going to good use. I'm not just cutting its head off and throwing it away. All right, just got the spinner back out there. Ooh. Oh, let's go. Let's freaking go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Number 2. Let's freaking go. That's two snakes, baby. Two freaking snakes. Oh my god. You go from being... Ooh, I probably shouldn't use my hands to take that off. Dude, whoa, man. I'll tell you what. That is awesome. I'm going to add them to the cooler. Alright. We got two, two so far, man. Tonight has been a success. After all the failures I've had recently, it is such a freaking good feeling, dude. I I, I know I, you guys are probably laughing at home saying like, dude, northern snakeheads are everywhere, you know. But, oh, I just pulled that one a little too quick. Um, they're not near me. Oh, just going to reel that one back in. I skipped that over. Um, where I live, they are not within three counties of me. Technically, I guess you would call it 70 miles is the nearest place that I've uh, read, you know, that they can be found. And, dude, I feel like, I don't know, man. I, it's, I feel on top of the world right now. I mean, if we don't catch any more fish tonight, I'm still not going to be too upset because, you know, we, we got our fish. get her back out there tell you what man life is good we're gonna take those two snakes home fillet them up and make a meal out of them who would have thought a trout spinner would be what I would catch the first you know snake heads of my career or life, I guess, on. Let's go, that's number three. Let's go, that's number three, baby. Um, I kind of did my research when it came to uh, snakehead fishing. And, you know, I, I researched what water bodies these fish like to hang in and what are, you know, some characteristics, because you know, not many people will share fishing spots, and nor would I ask somebody to. But uh, it is awesome when you put in the time and research, and it actually works out. Uh, I honestly went on this. I honestly went to this place on a whim, and I guess my uh, fisherman's intuition kicked in, because you know, I honestly had no clue that they were. I, you know, I had an idea that they might be in where I'm at, but. The fact that they're actually here is like such a rewarding feeling. Because, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm about as green as it comes when it comes to snakehead fishing, you know. Uh, now, I'm going to be honest with you. I do a ton of fishing. And I have to say one thing. Snakeheads are legit fighters, man. Uh, I honestly can't think of a freshwater fish that I've ever caught <clears throat> other than maybe, you know, stripers in a lake that give you a fight like that, dude. I'm not lying. I know there's a lot of people that don't like them and that, you know, that they're an invasive species and that, you know, they're going to kill everything. Uh, and I'm not here to... <clears throat> give you my opinion on snakeheads because a i'm not qualified to because i'm not a marine biologist nor do i study um you know fish so honestly my opinion means absolutely nothing considering i have no facts to base it so 
you know, if you're wondering what my thoughts on snakeheads are, you know, I really don't have many. Um, I don't believe in killing something just to kill it, but uh, I do believe in, you know, eating, you know, snakeheads if, if you catch one. You know what I mean? I've heard they taste good. I've never had one. And uh, we're going to find out for the first time what they actually taste like, so... understand somebody i guarantee you there's going to be some people that comment you know you're always going to have somebody that's unhappy but you know the fact of the matter is i've caught a few snakes i've kept them and i plan to you know feed my family feed myself with them you know uh there are some guys out there that will you know say well you got to kill them all and as soon as you catch them cut their head off and to be honest with you, if I'm gonna catch a fish and, and kill it, it's gonna go to good use. It's not gonna, you know, just get cut in half and thrown in the woods, you know what I mean? Now, if I find that they don't taste very good, I probably won't target them anymore because I don't wanna have to deal with the moral dilemma of, you know, keeping a fish or, you know, throwing it back. Research on it. like. Apparently these fish, you know, weren't really introduced into this area until 2002. Um, and from what I did from, from a research perspective, I was pretty much led to believe that, oh, FDR Park is like, oh, what the hell? Dude, that's a crappie. Yo, your boy just got a crappie. Let's go. All right, we're gonna release this crappie. Off he goes to fight another day. I'm serious. I I literally wanted to break my rods over my knee the last three trips I went out because literally it seemed like anything that could go wrong did go wrong. Fish on. Oh my God, dude, that's a giant. That's a freaking giant, dude. Oh my God. Oh my God. I might lose this one. I might lose this one. Dude. Look at that size one. Oh my God. That's the mama. Dude, look at that freaking giant. Oh my God. All right, we're calling it a night. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Almost lost him. Oh, let me see if I could get the lipper in this guy. Look at the freaking teeth on these things. Dude, they are ferocious. I wanna make sure I got a good grip of them. Nope. They do not wanna open their mouths, that's for sure. Dude, look at that. That's a slob. I mean, oh my God, look at that freaking snake. Dude, my night's made. I'm, I'm ending the night on that note. There's no need for me to fish anymore. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. <clears throat> Probably should have left a few minutes sooner, but uh, what do they say? Uh, hindsight is 20-20. Uh, personally don't like walking in the woods <clears throat> after dark, especially in an area I'm not familiar with, but uh, I can't complain because we did catch snakeheads, but Boy, this is a sketchy trip, man. I've done some sketchy things in my life before, but uh, this might be top five sketchiness. All right, so we are officially out of sunlight, I mean, very soon, and I really don't want to be walking in the woods at night. Um, gonna get back to my truck, put the fish on ice, and then tomorrow we're going to clean them and cook them, so stay tuned for that.